Hi, welcome to T-Metric Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to connect QuickBooks Online to T-Metric and to synchronize time between both apps. QuickBooks Online is an accounting software for any business. Integrating T-Metric with it can bring such benefits as accurate time estimation, fast payroll, data gathering and invoicing. Let's start. This is my company account in QuickBooks Online. I've got my customers, employees and projects here. These are my customers in QuickBooks, and I have already created the same ones in my T-Metric workspace. Customer from QBO is matched to client in T-Metric by the display name field. My employees in QBO correspond to the users I've invited to my workspace in T-Metric, so they are my team members. They are matched with their names and email addresses in both softwares. Then come projects. The ones from QBO match the projects in T-Metric. Let's create one in my workspace and make it billable. I set it up as billable based on the person's rate, which will be synced to QuickBooks Online too. All set. Now I have to connect my workspace in T-Metric to my company in QuickBooks Online. For this, I select the needed software in the drop-down list, click Connect, and confirm my actions in a new window from Intuit, Inc. Please note that the synchronization time automatically toggle should always be on, regardless of whether the time is synchronized automatically or manually. Save and done. I will now log some time against my project. A quick note at this stage. During the first synchronization, T-Metric synchronizes only time log from this date. Past time entries won't be synchronized. So, time is recorded. And let's run the synchronization now to see how it works. I navigate to my page with the integration and click the Synchronize Time Now button. The integration is running. It's completed and I can see eventually how many time entries were synced. Finally, I'd like to check the report in QuickBooks Online where I can find the synchronized time. I select the Time Activities by Employee Detail Report. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. 